Do you need to be a native speaker to be a UX writer? Hey guys, welcome back to UX Hero, the home of UX writing on YouTube. And this is a series Ask a UX Writer, where I answer your questions on UX writing and content design. And today's question was posted as a comment on a previous video, but I've seen this asked a lot online. Sometimes it gets very heated. So hopefully this video can put this question to rest. And that question is, do I need to be a native speaker to be a UX writer? The short answer is no, you don't need to be a native speaker. I've worked with non-native speakers in the past. I work with a non-native speaker now and they're fantastic. In fact, some of them are better than some of the native speakers I've worked with. But do I need to be a native speaker is a different question to can I find a job as a non-native speaker? And there's three things in my mind that will affect how easy it is for you to find work. Let's just use English as the example. This could be for any language, but we'll just use English to simplify things. The first thing is you need a really good level of English. It doesn't need to be native, but it needs to be really, really good. Just because we're dealing with shorter pieces of text doesn't make the job any easier. In fact, sometimes it can be more difficult. If you've got space restrictions and you need to shorten a sentence, that can sometimes be quite difficult for a non-native speaker. Knowing what words to remove without changing the meaning can be difficult. Sometimes you need to not break grammar rules, but bend them slightly. And again, that can be quite difficult for non-native speakers. And that's why some companies will prefer to hire a native speaker. So you need to prove, first of all, that your English is really good. Second thing is your location. Again, using English as the example, if you're applying for a job in the US or the UK, obviously there's a lot of native English speakers there. So the competition is going to be very tough. You compare that with if you're in a country like Japan. Obviously, there are far fewer native English speakers there and even fewer with an understanding of UX writing, so it's going to be easier. I'm not saying it's impossible in a country like the US or the UK, I'm just saying the competition will be tough. So it's going to come down to your level of English, but also the third point, which is your portfolio. If you're not bringing native level English to the table, you need to show to a hiring manager that what you are bringing is a really solid understanding of UX writing principles and hopefully UX design. If you're joining a company and they already have a native English speaker as a UX writer and you'll be working in tandem, cross-checking each other's work, which you should be doing, even native speakers make mistakes, I think that'll be a lot easier. For me, I would rather work with a non-native speaker who has a good understanding of UX writing than a native speaker who doesn't. If I'm just checking the work of a non-native speaker with a good understanding of UX writing, all I need to do is just check their English, really. They should have a good understanding of the user flow. They know what to check. They know what to write. I just need to touch up their English. You compare that with a native speaker who has a poor understanding of UX writing principles. I need to do a lot more work there. I need to check a lot more things. Do they understand the user flow? Does that button actually do what they say it does? That's a lot more work than just proofreading somebody's English. But you need to prove to a hiring manager that you have a good understanding of UX writing principles. Obviously, your portfolio needs to have good English, but... You really need to show that what you're bringing is a really solid understanding of UX writing and design. Not saying it's impossible. I think it is a bit of an uphill battle sometimes. I know it can be disheartening, but it's going to come down to that portfolio. It really needs to shine and show to the hiring manager the benefit of hiring you over a native speaker with a poor understanding of UX writing. Okay, I hope, they, I hope that uh, gives you a bit of a confidence boost if you are a non-native speaker. If you've got any questions on UX writing, content design, leave them in the comments section. You might see them in a future video. Remember to like and subscribe and check the first video in this series. I'll leave a link to it in one of these corners and I'll catch you in the next one.